Hey guys, this is Soul from Tech Explorers, and welcome to part 3 of our learning Turing tutorials. Today what we're going to do is just look over um, loops and uh, kind of get to the next level of programming. Okay, so all we have to do is open up uh, our website, uh, soulthatwood.com slash Turing. The link is in the description bar, as it always is. And you can see here, if you scroll down, uh, we have our part 3 of um, our Turing programs. So uh, today what we're going to do is look at a counter with conditional loops and uh, yeah, so once you've got the code copied and pasted in Turing it will look like this. So let's see exactly what it does before we um, dissect it. Okay, so as you can see at an increment of 1 seconds or 1000 milliseconds the program increases the number and at 10, it finally says the counter has counted to 10 seconds. So um, let's see exactly how we did this with loops and Turing. So um, as you can see, this is old news. Uh, we declared a variable with call number and we assigned it a value of 0. This is the new stuff. As you can see, we have loop and end loop. So anywhere between this loop and end loop is what we're going to have our numbers and it's going to constantly change. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put our number, so which is currently 0, so that's why it says 0 seconds, and then um, it is, this, is, uh, this is where we do our conditional statement. When, you're, when you want to exit a loop, you use this statement, exit when, and you use a variable, and you have to let it know that um, it's at 10. We could also do, th this would also be the same thing as doing exit when number is greater than 11 or greater than 9 rather so yeah uh, that's just telling the program that when it, we get to that 10 number it's gonna stop and it's gonna go outside the end loop which is our put statement here so let's see what the rest of this loop statement does obviously once it finishes uh, saying the seconds it's gonna add 1 so that's why th this is pretty interesting. We can do this arithmetic here where we can say number, okay, now you have a value of zero. What you're going to do is add that one and make it a value of one second. But as you can see here, this is another new thing. It's a delay. So this is how we call delays. We have delay, um, parentheses in, and how many milliseconds. So as you can see, this is 1000, which means one second. And then you close it off with parentheses. So um, this is basically telling the program, uh, say your number of seconds, make sure that when you hit 10, you need to leave, and uh, make sure that you increase one, but do it after one, uh, 1000 milliseconds, or one second, uh, so that it can actually count the amount of seconds. And uh, this put statement at, this, at, at the end is just to show you that it did end the loop and it's going on to the rest of the programming. If it's not, if there's no other uh, statement, then it's just going to finish the program. So yeah, so uh, that's basically, it's very simple. That's how you get to it. And uh, yeah. Okay, so let's do this one thing. Um, what if we take out this delay? Because this is the thing that's actually making the program stop every one second and increment. So um, if we comment this out, by the way, uh, comment is shift 5 or the percentage sign. And as you can see, what happens is it just counts it instantly. That's how fast the program is, or that's how fast the computer is able to uh, process the tasks. So. Um, that's a little too fast for us. How about uh, in decreasing it to 100 uh, milliseconds, which is 0.1 seconds. As you can see, it goes extremely fast also, but it finally counts it. Uh, since we have the seconds over here, let me just take out this statement since I kind of don't need it now, since we're not counting seconds. Um, another cool thing is that um, if we take out our exit when, or let's, let's just increase it to 50, what we'll see is that it's going to continuously go until it reaches 50. And uh, yeah, what if we do? Uh, what if we take out this put statement? And what if we take out our exit when? What will happen is you will get a continuously counting uh, program that just goes forever or until the program crashes. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, you can make cool counters and uh, you can go up, you can even, t let's see what happens if you take out this delay. 
is going to constantly count numbers. As you can see, it processes pretty fast. It's already at 500. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically uh, loops and a very short, simple way of uh, dealing with it. Imagine the possibilities, combining this with variables and other types of loops, which we'll learn in the next tutorial. So yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm Sol from Tegasource, and I will see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, please give us a like rating if this helped you out, and yeah.